What was good design? MoMA's message in 1944 to 1956 exhibition. The object that I choose is called Ice Top's Popsicle Mold. In 1947, Earl Silas Tupper, an inventor and chemist at DuPont, designed the unique air and watertight Tupper seal for containers to prevent both spilling and food spoilage. He used this feature to enhance his range of polythene welcomeware, devised years earlier. The result? Tupperware. Become a powerful symbol of suburban domestic life in the 1950s. In addition to its cutting-edge material and form, Tupperware's innovative marketing secured its success. Brownie Wise, a single mother who ultimately became vice president of the company, developed the hostess party model that gave housewives the chance to earn money independently. Earl Silas Tupper was born in 1907, Berlin, New Hampshire, United States of America. His father, Ernest Leslie Tupper, managed the family farm while his mother, Lulu Clark Tupper, ran a boarding school home to raise some extra income. It is from his father, who frequently come up with labour-saving devices for the farm, that Earl Tupper is said to have developed a love for invention and developing new things. By the age of 10, Earl learned that selling the family's farm produce was more lucrative if he went door to door. He studied at Bryant Universities. Then he started a landscaping and nursery business, which was not successful, and business got bankrupt. He then joined a chemical company named DuPont, where he invented this wonderful little thing called Tupperware, using black, inflexible pieces of polythene. Young Earl was enterprising from an early age. At the age of 10, he started a business selling the family's produce door to door. When he was a teenager, he had little patience and much contempt for his father's lack of drive. Eventually, his parents set up a greenhouse in Shirley, Massachusetts, where they offered the biggest selection of granums in the area. He dodgily tried to sell his inventions, but had little luck. To support himself, he set up a tree surgery and landscaping business. He married Marie Whitcomb in 1931, and the first of their five children was born a few years later. During the Depression, Tupper's clients cut back, and Tupper Tree Doctors was forced into bankruptcy in 1936. Earl Tupper was lucky to get a job in one of the plastic factories in Leominster, Massachusetts. Dieter Ramps Principles Number 1. Good design is unobtrusive. The Ice Tops Popsicle Mold creates treats that are right size for kids or adults, and they're among the less messy to eat, thanks to unobtrusive drip guards on the sticks. Number 2. Good design makes a product useful. The Ice Tops Popsicle Mold design is a really good useful product that can be used daily or as many different time of the day and can be put anywhere in the freezer or in the drawer if you're not using it. Good design is innovative. The Ice Tops Popsicle Mold design has a cutting edge material and form making the product look unique, which in turn caused the Tupperware's innovative market to become secure within its own field. Number 4. Good design is long lasting. The ice top popsicle mold design is small and simple, and because of its simplicity, it avoids being damaged and will last many, many years. Number 5. Good design is aesthetic. Experiment with flavours and aesthetics to encourage optimal ice pop enjoyment at your house. And gathering information for this assessment, Earl Tupper tends to work with plastic and is able to form minimalistic, useful household tools with them. Although I am highly unlikely to use plastic in any form of my work, I have learnt that sometimes it may be best to keep things minimal. Thank you.